so any time that you are lighting a wood stove, wood cook stove for the first time, well, I shouldn't say wood stove, mostly like the wood cook stoves, the tops come oiled, okay? They'll come with a film. Some of them have a plastic coating over the top that has to be peeled off. Some of them literally just have an oil base on the top. I did an up close video where I show you like some creosote that fell onto the oil there and how that looks. It's super important to clean the top, whether or not dirt got on it or um, it's just the oil. If you burn off the oil, number one, it's going to smell and smoke like crazy. So you don't want that inside your house. Now, even if you are just burning that oil off and maybe you're doing it outside and you don't care about the smell or the smoke, if you don't actually clean the oil off the top of the stove, you're gonna get some discoloration. Here's the cooktop. The stove is unburnt. I want to show a couple of things to you guys because I recently had someone complain and like thinks that the stove was used or something. So these stoves come with an oil film on them, number one. So before you burn them, it's really important that you clean this oil film off. Like if you touch it, it feels a little bit sticky. Um, when we installed this pipe, this is not a brand new chimney system, creosote fell out and you can see it's like all over this top now and it's like sticking a lot because of this oil film. Now if you are installing this into a chimney pipe that's already been used, you want to clean this before you light your fire. If you light your fire with it like this, this all these marks will be permanent, okay? So critical during your time of install critical things to remember. Um, if you get a stove that, you know, looks like it has these kind of marks that showed up from like dirt or something in shipping, it can be cleaned. It just needs to be done before you burn the stove. I'm going to clean it with alcohol today. Um, and just a simple, this is just a cotton rag here. And alcohol is a really great cleaner um, for a lot of different things. I tend to use a lot more kind of natural cleaners and stuff than I do like chemical products or products that you have to buy. So I'll use a lot of like vinegar or um, alcohol. So this alcohol is working really, really nicely. And again, this is just oil remover and alcohol works as a pretty good degreaser. So I'm going over the top here. I'm gonna wipe the initial sticky sticky off and then I'll show you guys how the cooktop looks up close and clean. Now, if it seems like it's like on there pretty good, then you might actually want to get a scrubby. This is blue Dawn dish soap. If I am going to use a degreaser, um, I usually just revert to that. Even though I use a lot of like natural things, the Dawn, Dawn dish soap is just honestly amazing on so many levels for so many things. Um, I'm noticing that some places in the back, not that the alcohol is not working, but I just need a little more grit power to get some of this off. And the alcohol is working fine. I'm using just a simple, like a scotch Bright pad. It's super important to go with the grain. So on this cooktop, it's going like horizontal here. Across the top, if you go like this, you will scratch your cooktop. Um, I'll show you up close. This one came with an abrasion that happened during shipping. So you can see here like how good this is working. This is <laughs> this nasty oil coming off. So sometimes you need this little like extra scrub to get it off like particularly on these edges where it's super thick and then yeah when you wipe it off like look at look at that. And this has never been burnt. Okay so this is a brand new cooktop coming in from shipping, and that's how it looks. This is the abrasion that I was talking about. That's actually through the grain. That's like something got set on the cooktop, something got stacked on top, which caused it to rub. Now this here, this is different. This is just black um, that will come off. So basically, I'll take my alcohol, spray it on there. So yeah, as I'm going around the cooktop, I just want to stick with the grain. These edges, and you can see, see it is cleaning up here. 
It just takes a little extra scrubbing power to get it off. And man, alcohol, this might actually be the nicest, um, <laughs> the nicest cleaning tool I've used yet to get this oil off. Yeah, here you can really see it coming. It's like this just goo that gets on there. I'm gonna make sure to kind of wipe off any overspray. And then yeah, as you go along, so you can see here, like these black edges that were on the back of the cooktop. Yeah, that went along the whole way. And look at how nice and clean I got that. So you burn the stove with this on there, you are Never getting that off. Never, ever, ever. Here I have the clean surface, so comparatively to how it looked, you can see it's pretty nice and shiny and clean. It took me about 20 minutes. Who at this angle I can see, I can see where I missed. So yeah, when you see that kind of like discoloration, you do want to make sure you get it all. Um, you can see my scrubbies like pretty dark plus like my rag that I've been wiping up with is like also pretty hammered and when I scrub you can see this um yeah so about 20 to 30 minutes I would say to clean all that oil off the cooktop again it's super important to get it really clean to avoid that discoloration if you guys enjoy my videos please don't forget give them a thumbs up Click the subscribe button in the corner of the channel. I really do my best to show you guys every aspect of the stove. I get a lot of re requests and questions on how to get the fire lit, so I hope that you guys enjoy seeing these first burn videos and how to break in the stove. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.